Okay, so there's a question about um, the screen outputs for idle, uh, idle up. Um, so I was going to go through those real quick. Um, I'm running the KISS GUI uh, version 2.0. And um, the min throttle here I have set to 1050. The min command here I have set to 1060. Um, it is armed through, uh, you know, aux switch. And uh, so in this case, I have it set to aux one, and the position here is high. Um, the position refers to the position of the command, not necessarily the position of the stick, as you can on your, I should say, the stick on your transmitter. The stick on your transmitter can be up or down, um, but it depends on how you have your settings set up, the inversion of the stick or not. Um, but it really refers to this data output screen. So you can see here aux 1, aux 2, aux 3. Um, they're all set to the low position. If I toggle my arm switch, you can see it goes high. So this is what the first page is looking for, the configuration tab. It's looking for that high command. So you can see here when I arm the motors, they switch to 1050 which is exactly what I have the min throttle set to, 1050. And then uh, when I actually perform the idle up, I go to 1063. So this 1063, if we go back to here, it's slightly above the 1060 command. Um, I like to have a little bit of uh, tolerance in there just to make sure that there's no dead band in my stick or anything else uh, that could cause that to drop below 1060. We don't want the quad falling out of the sky. Not sure that it would or not. I haven't tested it. Don't want to test it. Um, if somebody else wants to, go ahead. But um, I like to have a little bit of tolerance in there. So back to here. Um, everything functions normally. All the commands, everything works, no problem. Disarm goes back to 10 or 1000 and pull that the idle uh, idle cut down. Um, everything goes back to 1000. Throttle here is at 1000. Uh, PWM is at 1000. So interesting to note here real quick. Um, if we have it armed and throttle cut, you can see the throttle goes to 1063. That's based on the input or the output, I should say, from our transmitter. If I disarm the motors, the throttle will stay at 1063. And this is why you must um, you must deactivate or cut the throttle with your th switch back down to zero. Uh, because if we try to arm again, it will not arm. So you have to throttle cut arm. You can see the arm worked here. It's at 1050 and then we can use the uh, idle up switch. I'm just calling it idle up switch when it's in the high position and throttle cut when it's in the low position. So I hope that helped um, explain what the input screens look like. Uh, have any questions? Let me know. Thanks.